Good afternoon, Southern Soul Tarot fam. Today we are going to be doing a reading on uh, Jennifer Rothwell. Now, she was uh, murdered by her husband, Bo Rothwell. He is currently charged, um, and he is charged with uh, second-degree murder and charged with tampering with evidence. Now, um, Jennifer was also six weeks pregnant when he murdered her. Now, uh, she was 28 years old when this happened. Uh, they had found search histories in her phone that had... Um, about her being pregnant, about six, being six weeks pregnant, and also one of the search history said, "What do you, um, what to do if your husband is upset with you for being pregnant, for be, because you're pregnant?" Um, Bo said the night that they were uh, before she went missing, he had reported her missing on November twelfth of twenty nineteen. He said that night before or that night um, that they were basically watching TV and they were watching cooking shows the night before her murder. So, um, I'm guessing that will be November 11th is what he is referring to because he said that she had left the next morning for work, which I guess would have been November 12th. So, um, investigators, uh, had found a lot of videos of him, um, in certain stores buying cleaning supplies, rubber gloves, paper towels, receipts from the stores. And this was all again, yes, it was on November 11th at, uh, 2019 at 9:22 PM. So, um, that is when he was buying the items to clean up the murder. So, he murdered her on November 11th at, um, somewhere between, close to around 9 p.m. So, um, a little, you know, obviously before that, because he was already buying the items to clean up. The, uh, when the investigators got to the house, they said that the house, the house, uh, reeked of the, ble uh, sm the bleach smell, and that in the home, um, there was a spot at the bottom of the basement where the stairs were that had red stains that where you could tell they were human blood when they were tested too later. So, um, her body was found, uh, on November 21st of 2019. Um, it was near, um, Troy, Missouri and it took her, they, um, she was found near highway 61 near Lincoln County. So, um, November 20th, though, of 2019 would have been her 29th birthday. So she was found the day after her her um, her birthday. So her 29th birthday. So the preliminary autopsy said that, um, you know, she was 28 years old. She was six weeks pregnant. They, you know, stated her name, that she had suffered blunt force trauma to her head. And then, Bo, like I said again, Bo was charged with tampering with evidence, second degree murder, and trying to add, they're trying to add uh, charges for death of a fetus to his, to his charges since she was six weeks pregnant. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can ask for, um, you know, Jennifer's spirit guides to um, combine with my spirit guides and um, even Bo's so that we kind of know where his, his mind frame was and what he was doing and thinking and why he did this. What, like, why he, um, Felt the only option he had was to murder his wife and child instead of just leave. So, um, we're going to go ahead and ask that. Like, what was going on the days and weeks and months leading up to her becoming pregnant? What happened that day that, you know, he murdered her? And how she feels now about it when he murdered her and her child, her unborn child? So, again, this was um, in Clayton, Missouri. I said this was November 12th of 2019 is when he reported her missing. Her name is Jennifer Rothwell, and she is 28 years old. So, Bo Rothwell has been charged with second-degree murder. Um, the autopsy showed that she had had blood force trauma to the head. Again, she was six weeks pregnant, so they're trying to add the charge along with um, the tampering evidence with second-degree murder and then trying to add the fetus as a charge of, you know, terminating a fetus by murder so um and then her body was found the day um after her birthday she would have been 29 years old on november 20th of 2019 they found her body on november 21st it was uh near troy, troy missouri and um her her remains were found near highway 61 near lincoln county so again we're going to ask for jennifer rothwell's spirit guides to come in Bo rothwell's spirit guides to come in as long as it was mine and go ahead come in with archangel michael archangel gabriel archangel raphael and archangel shamuel since a child is involved and then we will ask for them to also bring in source so that we can have some better um answers as to what happened and why this was a um, in his mind, the best option. So let's see what was going on in the weeks, days, and months uh, leading up to her being pregnant and him murdering her.
what was going on in his head. Um, it was the four of wands, the months leading up to it. So again, they were, I don't know if they planned to get pregnant and they were trying to get pregnant, but, um, again, it's showing on both sides, there was a four of wands energy. So they were happy the days, weeks, and months, you know, leading up to this. So why is the four of wands here for the days, weeks, and months leading up to this? What changed with the four of wands? Something happened at some point where he started to feel kind of sorry for himself. Maybe once he found out she was pregnant, maybe he told her he wanted to have a baby but really didn't want to, obviously, because he did murder her and the fetus. So um, I think he started to look at, like, all these things that everybody else had. And, you know, he wasn't noticing that right behind him he had a wife and a baby on the way. He was looking at all these spilt cups, like everything that he was missing out on. Like I said, there's like one, two, three spilt cups. That's what I'm saying. He was, that's what he was focused on. It's like the grass is greener on the other side card. So that's the energy he started going into once he found out she was pregnant. So everything was good until she got pregnant. Whenever she got pregnant, yes, again, this is, he, he decided to make a decision with the four cups in reverse. They are staring at the cup. He has decided the best way to go ahead and get rid of the situation is to go ahead and remove his wife and the fetus. So, um which was his baby, basically. So from here on, I'll call it a baby. In the records, it is referred to as a fetus because six weeks, but it, it is his baby and her baby that he murdered. So, um, and there's a three of cups. If you look at it upright, you can see how this person is obsessed with this cup. They're obsessed with something that they don't have. Like I said, and again, and they're not paying attention to what they do have, a marriage, a happy life, and a child on the way. So he decided to pass all of that up and flip the cup upside down and take the one that he was more focused on. Um, he felt it was brighter and shinier, and he was, like I said, you know, it's the same energy as the grass is greener on the other side. So um, that night of the murder, he came in with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse is a slower, usually a slower-moving night, but um, it is of the earthly realm. I'm not sure what their birthdays are. I mean, I know what her birthday is, um, but I'm not sure of his birthday. So I'm not sure if he's the earth sign, but she's not, So um, that I'm aware of. So, um, the Nine of Pentacles is here, and the Nine of Pentacles comes, like I said, upright. They're coming in slow. They're coming in with a solid offer, and usually they are very family-oriented. Now, when it's in reverse, they're going to come in, um, I still feel like, I feel like it was like a leading up to argument. I don't feel like it was like out of anywhere he just came and like, you know, hit her over the head with something, or, you know, I feel like he was trying to maybe talk her out of having this baby. And that's kind of why the convert, it was coming in slow with the Knight of Pentacles. So let's see why that's there. I want to say she was a Scorpio then, you know, if, if, if her birthday was November 20th, I'm pretty sure. So, and then like I said, I don't know what his birthday is. But again, that's the Knight of Pentacles coming in slow on his side to try to maybe get it. Yeah. And then um, I think she put her foot down and said, absolutely not, which um, again, you know, this doesn't have to be your energy. Women can take on all of the queen's energies. Um, usually when there's more than one man or more than one king on the board, then that means there's more than one man. But if there's more than one queen on the board, it can be the same woman bringing on those energies. So I think she put her foot down and said, no, we're married. I'm going to keep this baby and there's nothing you can do about it. So that's what pissed him off. And that's when he snapped. So why... Um, what did he do after she said no? Why, how did that make him feel and, and what happened? He felt that this new life that she was trying to bring in, that he was not going to let it happen. He did not feel that um, he wanted it. He felt that it was more focused on her. This is the star card. I'm just show, like zooming in on certain parts because this is the um, the new deck that has been released by Circo Marchetti. It is the... Um, it is the Gilded Tarot Royale deck, so there, it is different than the other decks. So I do want to show you some of the differences in it for the people who are interested in possibly purchasing this deck. So, but it is saying with the star card, he felt that it was, he held the decision in his hands to decide rather, because um, again, she was a Scorpio, so that, you know, to me this represents the water, which is a Scorpio is a water sign, so he decided to go ahead and do what he wanted with her. And then in the future, uh, after she has passed, she felt that she has moved on. Um, with the chariot, uh, right away, she moved on very quickly from the earthly realm. And the reason she did that is because she was offered the Ace of Swords when she moved on. So um, when, she cr when she crossed over, she um, was automatically offered this thought 
process of what she could do, and she knew that he was going to get caught. Like, she knew it. Like, because that also represents the courts and uh, justice, because that's what swords represent. So, and actually, again, this uh, chariot represents mother. It represents cancer, the mother of the zodiac. So not only was she pregnant, but she's showing not only did I move on and I did it gracefully, no matter what you did, you still will be um, prosecuted within the court of law, but to the to the uns, like highest degree. Um, so that's kind of what's happening there. So let's see how why she has the chariot here with her energy. Because she will make sure in this earthly realm that there is no way that he can manipulate with all of his pinnacles and and swords and wands and cups what really happened. So that is why all the evidence is there and that is why you do see it. So or where they were able to find so much there was um a lot of evidence on him. Security footage, they found all of the uh the cleaning items in the trash. They said it smelled like bleach there. There was blood in the home, so everything was pretty much kind of self-explanatory as to what happened. Why is the ace of swords here? Can you tell me why the ace of swords is here, please? Yeah, because there was no more bickering and fighting. She knows in the court of law she's already won, so she's not worried about this bickering and petty fighting amongst them. When you look at it this way, again, this is showing them almost kind of bickering and fighting like kids with, like, wands. But when it's reversed, it means it no longer exists and you can't really see what's going on anymore. It kind of blends in. So she is saying that not only will she make sure he's prosecuted, but there will be no um, bumps along the way. It'll go very smoothly. So why is the magician here? Because of the two of pentacles. So she is saying that she has had... Um, there's two things. I think it is she is showing this is her and her child that he um, basically murdered. So, which he did murder. So, and I think that is her point of why she is, is using the chariot, which is the mother of the Zodiac, which she was going to be a mother, to go ahead and use it to show in the earthly realm what he really did and that what he did to not only her but to her their unborn baby. So, why is the Five of Wands here? The Five of Wands is here for the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is coming in fast to make sure that this fight is, is or this uh, court case is put to bed and put to bed quickly. They are coming in quick and with action, and so I do feel like this is maybe some type of lawyer figure Mom. or somebody that is here to um, represent, them. Mommy. represent them. Just one moment. My son needs my help. All right, so like I said, I do feel like the Knight of Wands here is going to be a... Um, whether it be lawyer or a male figure that rep that was close to her in this earthly realm, but somebody is going to come in to defend her during the trial, and that will put him out in the cold, basically, and make sure that he is put behind bars where he belongs. So um, as much as I don't want to switch decks yet, because I'm absolutely loving this new deck, we're going to go ahead and switch, so in case they want to clarify with any of the same cards that we've used. So um, we are going to switch to the Gilded Tarot. I'm sorry, not the Gilded Tarot, um, the Rider Waite. So um, this was the Gilded Tarot Royale that we just used. So we're going to go ahead again and ask Jennifer Rothwell, um, her, have her, her spirit guides come in with Bo Rothwell um, spirit guides and as well as my spirit guides. So we're going to also bring in Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Shamuel for all of them, including because there was a baby involved. So we're going to see what their spirit guides have to say and what source has to say about the situation and what the outcome will be. after. Um, like I said, this is the months, days, and weeks leading up to it. This is the day of the murder, and this is what's going to happen now and how she feels now about the situation. So um, let's start off again with how she was feeling and how they were feeling the days, weeks, and months leading up. They have the Four of Wands here. So why is the Four of Wands here? Because it represents a happy home. Even though there was a happy home, he was doing things uh, with the Seven of Cups that she was not really aware of. And the reason I say that is because the Seven of Cups is a mischievous card. It's kind of like, um, look at he's looking at all these things, all these options, that, and he can't decide which one he wants to choose from. So basically, it's an overindulgence. It's kind of like um, the sex, drugs, and rock and roll card. So he was kind of doing things. That's why he went into this Five of um, Cups when he figured out she was pregnant, because he knew he would have had to grow up for the baby and for her, and he didn't want to do that. So that's why he went into this energy of poor me with the four of cups and the five of cups. So why is the five of cups here? What what was what? 
Why was he feeling that way? And what did, what was causing him? What did he want? What did he want to happen? Why, why was he feeling sorry for himself? He felt that if he, because he had already here with the next card underneath it, made the decision to go ahead and murder her while she was pregnant because he didn't want to have the baby. So that decision with the five of cups, how he was kind of um, pondering over it, um, he was, uh, he decided, once he decided what to do, it brought him out of the state of the nine of swords, which is, that is losing sleep, anxiety, depression, being stuck in your head. He figured the best way to do that would be to, um, move forward with the chariot with the queen of wands in reverse. So again, I do feel like, cause she's right here is the queen of wands again in reverse. So he looked at her like, um, she was very intelligent, very good with her words, very quick, and she stood up for herself, and she didn't put up with much of anything. She wasn't going to let somebody push her around. So that's why he was feeling sorry for himself, so he decided to end the situation with the Four of Cups in reverse. Why are the Four of Cups reversed? What was I said? How is this going to solve it in his eyes? What was, the, what was that going to solve? He figured that it would take, because again, this is sword, so that this is a thought, so this would be anybody who usually is going to be have high intelligence. Um, they're very analytical, and they're logical, and they will not um, start an argument. They usually are very quick and short with their words, and if they say something, um, they can back it up. They're not going to say something that they don't have proof of. So he wanted to make sure that he took her out of the picture, because he knew if he didn't, then that inner, that side of her would come out the factual side, and basically out him for the way he had been behaving. So he didn't want people to know because he had already planned to murder her. So let's see why the Knight of uh, Pentacles is here. Because he wanted a brand new start to a brand new world. So that is why the Knight of Pentacles is here. Um, he, um, he, want, he felt by coming in and this kind of like, well, let's have a brand new world by, you know, because again, this is almost like if you look at it, it's like a, 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 ba a fetus within a womb. Like I said, even though it is a grown woman and things like that, but if you look at the actual way it's laid out, it looks like it could be a baby inside of a womb. So he's saying, I think he was trying to convince her to have an abortion and get rid of the baby. And that's when she put her foot down with the Queen of Wands energy and said, absolutely not. And so let's see um, how he felt when she put her foot down with the Queen of Wands. What happened after that? He no longer cared if he dumped out the cup on her or not. He felt like she was going to do what she, he had said or he thought she would do. Again, this is going to represent her sign. She is a Scorpio. So like I said, he dumped out the cup of love on her and decided to go again with another water sign and take the life of her and her unborn baby because he felt that they were hindering his, his future. He did not want to be a father. So um, why is the star here? Because he felt that if he got rid of her, then he would no longer feel that he would have to explain himself about his misbehaviors. He would feel that um, he basically was trying to play a victim, like the Nine of Wands here. But really, he, he was the one mentally in, uh, abusing her, gaslighting her, and physically I think he I don't think he always like physically, physically abused her, but I think he would try to intimidate her. I do feel like um, almost that sense of someone stepping up into your face to try to get their point across or looking at you a certain way to try to intimidate you. So he felt like by taking her and the baby out, he would no longer have to feel the, that energy. That is what that card represents. But, of course, he's full of crap. So let's see why the chariot is here. Why is the chariot here representing her? Because she is the mother at this point who is moving on with the ace of wands. Why is that here? Because she is showing that she went into a resting state with her and her baby. Um, her unborn baby. So there are the four of swords here. So I think each sword up here represents the husband, her, and the unborn fetus. And this one is where she is trying to go ahead and recuperate so that she can, you know, move forward with and build up her energy for her and her baby on the other side in the 5D. And not only that, get ready for the court process. So with the ace of wands in the court process, how is that going to go? Again, um, I think we had the king of, well, we have the knight of wands. So the king of wands is stepping in in reverse, so he's pissed. So there's somebody, um, obviously, that is very upset with, with this man's actions and what he did. And um, like I said, this could be one of her family members. I do feel very fatherly energy or um, maybe an uncle. I don't, I'm not sure, but um, they're basically stepping in to make sure that justice is served and they are making sure that it is, everything comes out the way it's supposed to within the earthly realm. She's doing it from her side as well, but they're making sure here on this side it's happening. So, again, with uh, them 
showing what's actually happening. Again, he was trying to claim that he was in this five of cups and like poor him and they're showing with the magician, they're outing him in the manipulation that it never existed, that it was all in his head and this five of cups that he keeps trying to make it seem like, you know, he had to do this or, you know, he was being treated unfairly and things like that, that it's a bunch of crap because again, behind him, these cups are standing up. Now he's dumped them out because he did it. But when he's this way, they were right standing upright. So he was ignoring the fact that he had a wife and a newborn baby on, or a baby on the way. So because he was focused about everything else, and you could almost see where it's spilt red. It should I think it represents wine, but it also looks like blood. So that's what I'm saying. So they're showing that his manipulation was nothing but lies with the five of cups. So why is the five of uh, wands here? Because of the three of pentacles in reverse. So again, it is showing that the the um. Bo, Jennifer, and the unborn baby. Um, it was not... He handled it in the way of murder, which you should not do, obviously. So um, that is what's letting you show that it was supposed to run like a well-oiled machine, and she thought that it was what he wanted. But in reverse, it was, absolute, it was the opposite of what he wanted. And instead of handling the way he should have, like a man should have, he went about it in a very um, disgusting, more than animalistic way. So with the two of pentacles, I think this represents her and her unborn child. What would she like people to know? She is letting them know that now with the, with him being arrested and charged with some of the things that she he has been charged with, the light um the light has now shed parts on the dark parts of the case and the why things have happened and we'll know more soon. Um, like I said, mainly, you know, with her being pregnant. I think obviously the main motive was he did not want to have the baby, but I'm sure we will also find out, you know, there probably was problems in the relationship before she got pregnant, um, but he was keeping them to himself with the seven of cups. That's what I'm saying. He wasn't telling her all these things that he was really thinking, like how he felt so sorry for himself and there was other things that he wanted. So he was keeping all those things secret to himself. So she is saying um, no, she, they are no longer stuck in this high priestess energy which I want to say we had that card somewhere, but they are no longer, she is saying they are no longer stuck in that or, you know, with him. So again, she is the light pole. It has the J. Her name is Jennifer. So she is showing she is the light side and his name is Bo. He is the dark side. That is why he is on the black pillar. The high priestess shows the dark and the light within a human being and playing in it too long you can get stuck in the wrong area, and that leads to situations like this. So again, Bo stayed in the dark, and Jennifer was in the light. So now she is showing it is revealed that Jennifer was the light-sided person, and Bo is the dark-sided person. Once again, their initials are literally on the pillar. So that is her message. So that is her message about the Two of Pentacles, and her, about her and her daughter. Or, I don't know, maybe it was a daughter, because she was only six weeks, so I don't know why I said daughter. Um... But her unborn baby, their unborn baby. So, why is the Knight of Wands here? Who is, who are they and what are they trying to do? Again, they're putting an end to the bickering and fighting and making sure the court process goes fast so that their family can somewhat have their life back, even though they'll never um, have her or her independence back. It'll at least kind of make the process go a little bit quicker and so that there's not so much bickering and fighting and all this back and forth through the courts. Because, again, he has already been charged. This happened just on November of 2019, the 12th. And, um, like I said, he is, they um, they did the preliminary, you know, autopsy, and he's been um, to court since then. And he's already been charged since then. So that's what I'm saying. So that's what they are saying. The Knight of Wands. That's why she's bringing them in because the Knight of Wands is gonna stop the fighting and bring back some of the peace to the earthly realm, a little bit, and take some of the pressure off whoever that person might be. So let's go ahead and get um, a Purpose of Life card for her, and we'll do one for the baby also. So I want to thank y'all for joining me for this reading. I said if y'all enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe bar and the notification bell for future updates and readings like this. Um, I usually upload a couple of them a day. Um, I also do lives, and that's when I will do live readings, and that way you can kind of interact in real time and ask questions that you might have about these particular cases, and I can answer them in live time. And then sometimes I will offer um, short spreads for, you know, a very cheap price so that way you know if you are interested in having your first 
tarot card reading and you've never had one before and you want to kind of just fill it out that'll kind of show you what they're about and like i said they're all under ten dollars like i said it's usually like an eight card spread that i'll do and i kind of just pick random days to do it but let's go ahead and um do the purpose of life i'm gonna do one for each of them that's one So we got protector and sensitivity or protected. You are safe and supported while you change your career. Now, when you pass over, that is changing of careers because when you come into this earthly realm, you are given a gift by God. And that is what you are supposed to do when you come into this realm. So she is saying when she crossed over, she has, um, she is safe and she has been supported on the other side by um, other archangels, other spirit guides to let her know how to transition and what it is that she is to do now on the other side as a new career. Um, like I said, like helping people to transition who have died in a similar way. So um, sensitivity, you're becoming more sensitive and need to make the changes accordingly. So she is saying that the earth, I think she's saying this to the whole earth, the whole earth, um, every, and not the whole earth, but basically human beings in general, they need to have more sensitivity um, there's not enough sensitivity left in this world. And that's why a lot of the problems we have keep worsening and worsening. So, um, it is saying, like I said, again, you are becoming more sensitive and you need to make changes accordingly to that. So, um, I think they're saying to more think for yourself and not what other people tell you to think. So let's see what, um, she wants to do from the angel answers. We'll ask her a couple questions. And then that will be the end of the reading. We'll do the singing bowl as well to clear out the negative energy and bring in the positive energy for her and her unborn child. So um, I want to thank you all again. Like I said, if you all are interested in having any private readings like this for yourself, that information is also in my about section on my main page. You would just go to YouTube and type in Southern Soul Tarot and then it'll bring up an about section tab and you can click that. It has all of the information along with all of the um uh, all of the information about my readings uh, along with the price list and all of the links that you can click on to go ahead and make the payment form if you would like to have a reading. So thank you again for watching this. I am honored that y'all clicked on the video and I greatly appreciate it. So we got one card so far. Let's see if we can get one or two more. All right, so that's three. So she is saying that there are going to be big, happy changes. Listen to your intuition. And yes, I think she's saying there's going to be big, happy changes soon in the way that the court case is going to go for her and her family that is, is going to go in their favor and to listen to their intuition and not only um, for them to, but I think she's saying that in general for everybody to listen to their intuition. I think there was parts that maybe she ignored when she, you can tell by her Google, by her searches on her phone that she was feeling a bit uneasy about her husband. And I think she wished she would have followed her intuition and maybe she could still be, have, you know, still be with us with her child if she would have just maybe followed her intuition. But again, I think that's why she's asking us from now on to follow ours. And, um, Yes. So she is saying there will be balance. There will be victory in the um, the court systems because, again, this um, can to me rather, you know, it represents balance. She is balancing these two crystal balls in her hand. So she is saying, yes, once it gets to court and there's the angels above watching, making sure it all goes properly and it's all lit up in the middle that, yes, there will that he will be convicted for the death of her and her child and um, that it will be balanced out in the end. So that is going to be her um, reading. This is for Jennifer um, Rothwell. And then Bo Rothwell is, um, you know, is her husband, but he's charged with her murder for a second degree murder and also tampering with evidence. She was 20 years, eight years old at the time of her murder, and she was six, week preg six weeks pregnant with their baby. This happened in Clayton, Missouri. He reported her missing on November 12th of 2019. He said the night, uh, Boa said the night before on a November 11th of 2019 that, that her, um, him and Jennifer had been watching cooking shows the night before her murder, and then that was pretty much it. And then she got up the next morning to go to work, and then he reported her missing the next day. So the investigators um, had found um, cleaning supplies, rubber gloves, paper towels, receipts for those items, and they had also found him on numerous um, 
camera security footage at these stores purchasing these items. So her body was found um, on November 21st of 2019 near Troy, Missouri. He took her uh, um, remains near Highway 20 or Highway 61. So um, and that is near Lincoln County. So and actually her birthday was November 20th of 2019. She would have been 29 years old. So they found that her body the day after her 29th birthday. So, um, in the, the autopsy showed that she had had blunt force trauma to the head. So, they're, um, um, basically, he is charged with, again, tampering with evidence, second-degree murder, and they are adding the charge on of, basically, you know, terminating a fetus. So, that will be the reading for Jennifer Rothwell. So, like I said, again, she was 28 years old and six weeks pregnant. She was murdered by her own husband. So, um, I want to thank y'all for clicking on the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, if y'all would like, again, to be notified in the future when I do lives or upload future videos like this, so that you can um, go ahead and participate in the lives in real time, so that you can ask questions about these cases, you can, if you um, can hit the subscribe bar and the notification bell, I would greatly appreciate it. And I just want to thank you for clicking on the video, and I will talk to y'all soon. And right before we go, we're going to go ahead and do the singing bowl. Okay, Southern Soul Tarot fam, I want to thank y'all again for clicking on the video. Um, if y'all have any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them in the comment section. And um, again, I greatly appreciate y'all for joining me. So y'all have a great um, afternoon, and I am working on another couple of videos, and then I will probably be doing a live tonight for um, and offering a spread if y'all are interested in that. So again, if y'all are interested in participating in the lives in real time, then um, if you're not subscribed or you haven't hit the notification bell, if you do that, that will go ahead and alert you whenever I do go live and I do offer the specials on the spreads. So um, y'all have a good rest of the afternoon and I will talk to y'all soon.